Hello everybody, welcome to Totally Tabled. My name is Shaggy and today I am playing a full solo playthrough of Parks with the Nightfall expansion. I have everything set up for the game. We get to start with the first player marker. We also start with the camera and our campfire token face up. Also have a starting canteen card and a goal card, which says, I will get one point at the end of the game for every wild token that I have in my possession. And I get to start with one. Little kitty. I'll be playing with the blue meeples today. And in the solo game, you play against the rangers who are out to scoop up tokens and cause a little chaos. I have everything set up. I uh, have the weather token set up according to the season card. We are starting with the season of splendor, which also tells me to add a sun on the three current park cards. So let me do that. That'll be a resource that we get when we acquire any of these parks. So I get to take the first turn, thanks to this. And I think the first thing I want to do is move my meeple to this spot right here. On your turn, you're gonna move one of your meeples forward as many spaces as you want. The only thing in this game is you can never move back. So once you skip over a spot, you can't go back. So I've skipped over that spot, but I'm gonna come straight here. And when you land on a place with a weather token, you can grab that weather token. And then you also get to use the benefit of the space, which in this case is grabbing a mountain token. We are limited to 12 tokens in our possession uh, at one time. Now it's the ranger's turn. They move based on these cards right here. We're just going to turn over a card. We're gonna see how many suns are on it. So there's one, so it's gonna go in the leftmost spot and they're gonna move one space forward. So this guy's gonna move one space forward and he's going to grab this tent and he's just gonna take it off the board. He's just sort of keeping that tent away from us. I'll put them up there. And that's it, that's all he does. So now it's my turn. I can choose to move either my meeple in front or this guy back here. And you cannot go where any other meeple is unless you spend your campfire token. If I wanted to go here or here, I would have to spend my campfire token to do it. I don't think I want to though. I think instead I'm just gonna move my guy who's in front one space forward. We're gonna grab that sun, get two water, and immediately since I've grabbed this water, I can place one water that I've just taken. I can place it onto my canteen in order to use its ability, which in this case is to get a tree. Now it's the ranger's turn again. Since I am in front, that means that the first ranger is gonna go. If this ranger was in front of me, then the back ranger would go. So that means this guy is gonna move forward two spaces, but he's not gonna land on where I am. He's gonna keep going and he's gonna come here. And now I have a decision. I can have him either take the weather or the camp. I'll have him take this weather so that I could potentially make use of that camp. Now, when he takes a weather token, it goes onto their little card. Once one of these fills up, either the water fills all the way up or the sun fills all the way up, it's gonna trigger a special ability. Now it's my turn again. And now that these have sort of cleared off a little bit, I think I might move this guy because if I come to this space, I can exchange some of these goods for the goods that I need in order to get some of these parks. We have some sun and water coming up here. These need a lot of sun, so it looks like we're really gonna need some sun. Yeah, I think I will, and none of these need mountains. So I am gonna come here, and I'm gonna get to do, get to exchange one for one, and I can do that twice. So I'm gonna exchange this mountain, and I'm gonna exchange it for tree. And then I'm gonna exchange one of these waters or a sun. And now we're very close to being able to get either of those two parks, which are each worth four points. Okay, the rangers get to go. All right, it's two. 
And because this ranger is in front, the back ranger is going to go. He's going to go one, two, land there, and there's absolutely nothing for him to do. So that worked out great. Do I want to skip forward? I want that sun, but that guy is in the way. I could go there and use my campfire, or I could get a sun right here, deny them the sun, and do this special ability. That seems good. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to go one, two, and come over here. Grab that sun. And now I have a choice. I can either get another canteen, or I can spend two resources in order to um, take a picture. And because I have this camera, as it shows on the back, only it's only going to cost me one resource to take a photo. Maybe I don't want to spend any of my resources to do a photo. So I'm going to take the canteen. Oh, wow, look at that. And this is a canteen that will give me two sun in exchange for the one water that I put on there. That's pretty good. All right, Ranger's turn. Gonna move one. And now that I've come in front, he's gonna come here. He never stops where I am. They're gonna go forward. Ooh, I don't know if I want him to have another water. I'm gonna tell him he can take the camp. That'll be better. Save the water for me. And speaking of water, yeah, I think we want to go one, two, jump here, grab the two water, and immediately put one on our canteen to get two more sun. Ooh, there's a three. So the back, back ranger's gonna go. One, two, three. Not gonna stop there. We'll stop where he he is, though. The rangers don't mind hanging out together, and they're going to snag that water. So I didn't quite get there. Well, I think I want this guy to come in so that we can get first dibs here on a park before one of these guys potentially takes it. Unless I want to get one of these equipment cards here. These binoculars say you may gain a wild token instead of two water at this location. That's pretty good, especially considering I'm a preserver. So I'm incentivized to get some of those. And I would still have enough of these to get either of those. So yeah, I tell you what, I'm gonna come in here and we're gonna go to this backpack space. And I think I am going to spend one sun to get these binoculars. And we'll see if I can actually remember to use that special ability. Let's see what they're doing. Well, they're going to be coming in no matter what. Oh, wow, another set of binoculars that work for this spot. Wow, maybe I should get both of those. Okay, well, so they're coming in. And since there was a one that brought them in, they're going to go to this spot and they are going to basically take that first building. And they're gonna slide here and take this first player marker from me. So that might've been another reason why I wanted to go straight in there and grab one of these things, but that's okay. This is gonna go away. I'm just gonna come right here. And I think I will use this tent and we'll go right there, which will let me convert both of these waters into wild tokens. Ooh, so now I got a bunny and a little bird there. Now all of these wild tokens are the same. They're just in different shapes, but functionally they're the same thing. You can spend them as any resource. And now, okay, a one again. So they're gonna go there. They've already taken the thing. So pretty much nothing happens. And now my guy must come in. Now that everyone has left the, the track, I have to come in. So I'm gonna come into this park spot that's gonna let me visit one of these parks. Even though this one is worth less points, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do this one. I'm gonna grab that sun that's on it, and I'm gonna spend the two trees and the two suns. I'm gonna take this, and we're just gonna put it off to the side here. Uh, and create a little scoring pile. And there you go. That is the end 
of the first round. So what we do is a little bit of cleanup. All of our characters are gonna come back. We're gonna clear all that off. You get to clear off your canteens. If you had, if your uh, campfire token was extinguished, you could um, relight it. Oh yeah, and before I forget, because I have the camera token, I am allowed at this point to take one photo if I want for one resource. And photos are basically just worth a point at the end of the game. And I think I will do that. I will take a picture. Yeah, I'll put it over here. And I'll just spend one of my sons. Okay, another thing we need to do is replace these park cards. Oh, and it looks like we got a park card from the expansion. These have an immediate sort of effect that you can that you can do after you have visited the park. So that's neat. Not worth as many points, but got a cool little special ability there. The last thing we need to do is take all of these tiles. We add an extra one and we shuffle them up. And so our path is now gonna be one tile longer and it's gonna be in a slightly different order. And then we flip these over to their round two side. And this one actually says one and two. So it's gonna look like this for round two. We have to place these back on the board and they always go in a little pattern like so. And then we get out a new season card. We are now entering the season of waves. So you will gain a water when you gain a new canteen. And we have that weather pattern. And the way that works is you skip the first tile and then you just repeat that pattern. And now we are set up for round two. Well, it looks like because the Rangers took the first player from me, they get to go first. So we'll draw a card and it's gonna be moving two spaces. One, two, grabbing that sun. So I have to keep in mind, if they get one more water token, then I have to discard all my water. Well, guess what? I don't have any water, except for I'm about to have some water, aren't I? Oh, wait a minute, I moved the wrong token. There we go, that's the ranger. My guy is moving there. And instead of getting two water, he's gonna get a wild token instead because of my binoculars there, which is kind of cool. Ooh, three. Now, because he's in front, this guy's going. One, two, three, coming here. It goes here. This fills up. So he's making me discard all of my water. I have no water. So that worked out great. So what happens is these go away. This card gets discarded to the bottom. And a new card comes out. So now, if they get three suns, then the rangers will get the first player token, which they already have. And if they get two or three water, they're gonna discard all of my mountain tiles. I am going to use my campfire to come here and get two water. Now I could use my binoculars, but instead I'm gonna get two water and I'm gonna immediately place it on both of my canteens. So I'm gonna get a tree and two suns. And I have to be careful of how many tokens I have here because I already have nine and I can only have 12. Okay, so this guy is still in front. So the back one is gonna go and it's gonna move three. Wow, they're booking it. One, two, three. Well, this is great because now that he's vacated that spot, we can go there. Let's see what's on offer here. Trail map. 
Parks costs one sun less to visit. Sleeping bag, you may gain three suns instead of a mountain token at the mountain spot right there. Or sunscreen, suns can be used in place of mountains in parks. Ooh, that is interesting, isn't it? Because you can pick up those sun tokens because of the weather. That is good. Now, instead of getting one of these gear cards, I could reserve or visit one of these parks. I'm gonna get this gear card and I'm gonna get this one. Parks cost one sun less to visit. So we're gonna get that trail map and that's gonna be my action for that spot. Okay. Oh, three again. Look at these guys. One, two, three. Grabbing that sun. Oh no. I think I'm just gonna come here and take the two sun. Three again, wow. Okay, one, two, three. Already in, he used a three to get here. So he's gonna come down to this spot, which means this card is going away. Wow, okay, did not expect that and the special ability here is all of those three cards that they've been using get shuffled back into this deck, which means they're just going to get a little faster. So I think I'm going to go here, grab that sun, and now I can exchange two. So I'm going to exchange these two suns for these two... And I'm going to hope that this isn't a two and takes away the, that Yellowstone National Park, because that's what I'm gunning for. So let's hope. Oh, it's a three. Okay. So he's going to come in with the three again, but nothing happens. And now I have to go in. It doesn't matter how many I have. I have to just go in. And we only get to do one action over here. And it's going to be to get a park. And we're going to go and get this Yellowstone Park. So... That did not work out well for us, did it? One, two, three. And it's gonna cost one less, so it only costs us three suns. But we grabbed that, we visited Yellowstone. That's worth five points. So, boy, that did not, that didn't go well at all. Okay, I've completely set up for round three and I forgot one little thing. I have the camera token, which means I can spend one resource to take a picture, and I think I will. So there we go. Took a lovely little picture there. Ah, so nice. <laughs> okay. Let's see what happens. So they still get to go first. A three again, wow, they're drawing a lot of three cards. So they're gonna move one, two, three. Grab that. By the way, we have entered the season of reefs, which says that we will gain a water if we gain any tree tokens on our turn. I think we're going to go slow and just grab, grab a couple of sun tokens there. He's in front. One, two. Grabs the water. All right, they snuck in front. Yeah, I do want to leap ahead. I'm going to leap ahead, grab that, and get two water. And the question is, do I want to... Well, yeah, I definitely want to spend on this canteen. That's going to get me a tree. And because I got a tree, get an extra water. And I think I will also use this canteen and just get two sun... Two. Well, the front guy goes because I'm in front. So one, two, won't stop there, is gonna come here. We're gonna have this guy, we're gonna leap over that one, we're gonna come here. So we got 12, we're fine. And we're gonna purchase one of these, I believe. Tell you what, we're gonna spend three. And we're gonna get that discount right here. So now parks will cost us one sun less and one tree less. So we could potentially visit that one a little bit cheaper. 
three again. Look at you. Oh man, he's in. One, two, three. Coming down here, discarding that park, and yeah, shuffling these back up. Lots of threes. Tell you what, we are going to leap over here. We're gonna grab that water. We're gonna get a tree. And because we got a tree, we got a water. Two. One, two. Well, he can take that. This guy's heading in. And he's gonna get a park. Which means he's gonna get to come here and get that first player back. So that's nice. And we're going to visit this park right here. So it's gonna cost us one tree less, so we only need to spend one tree. And all four of these waters. And when we actually either reserve a park or visit a park, we do get to replace that immediately. When the ranger takes a park, then we don't get to replace it. All right, let's see what this guy is doing. He's moving three, of course he is. One, two, three, right there, nothing. All right, so I could hop over here unless I wanted to jump in. No, I don't really, I'm not too worried about it. I'm gonna grab that and get a mountain. Okay, two, oh, one, two, goes in, takes my camera from me, very rude, and is also gonna discard that. Kind of the one I was looking at too. Hmm, well, we're gonna hop in because we have to. And do I want to get a park? Oh, we only get the first token if we reserve a park, and I actually visited a park, so I didn't get the first token. I came down here and actually reserved a park. I mean, actually visited a park. Yeah, that must work. So, okay, I am gonna... I'm going to get this park, visit it. So I'm gonna spin the mountain. I'm gonna spin the water. And that little brown square there means that I have to spend two of any resource. Now there's a variant in the rule book where these wild tokens can count as two when you're using them to fulfill one of these brown square requirements. And so I like to play with that variant. So I'm gonna actually spend one of these wild to fulfill that. And there you go. And then we grab it. Now, a new one comes straight out. And now, this immediate effect is that we can reserve or visit another park right away. You know what? Let's go for it. Let's just straight away visit that park. We're going to spend... Oh, it costs us one less. So we don't even have to spend that. We just have to spend the four. We'll use two of our wilds to pay for that. And then we'll get a wild right back. So that seems nice. And there you go. That was an amazing final turn. Okay, all set up for the final round. We've entered the season of starlight. So parks are gonna cost one sun less to visit, which is kind of a shame because there's really only this one with one sun and parks already cost one less sun for me. So that didn't work out great, but nevertheless, let's go. Rangers are first. Ooh, two. One, two, takes the sun and that fills that up. So they're gonna regain the first player marker. They already have it. Those go away and a new card comes out. Oh, wow. If they get one more water, they're gonna force me to discard all of my sun tokens. If they get one more water, both of those are going away. Now, I notice here that I can convert my sons into wilds if I visit a tent. So I could get two wilds there, or I could just snag this water first. They can't get another water until way down there. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna snag that water. We'll get two more. We'll place 
one water there, I think, to get two more suns. That we can then convert into wild. So we have... We can do all three there. That'd be nice. And then... Yeah, let's go ahead and get another tree. Because, I mean, this only costs one tree and one mountain. So that's pretty good. Two... So I'm in front, so this guy's gonna go one, two, he's gonna grab this sun. Okay, well now he's within water striking distance. I could jump all the way over there and grab that, but instead I think I'm gonna come here and rather than take the weather token and do the ability on the tile, I'm going to instead visit the camp. Now, when I take one of these, I could put it here, and I could spend three sun to get another one of these cards, another one of these in-game goal cards that would score some points. Uh, that was something I, I could have done, and I do have enough suns for that, but I'm gonna instead just sort of try to hammer that. I'm gonna come here, and I can up to three times convert sun into wild. I'll do all three. There we go. Now, if he takes my sons away, I'm not super angry. Three. Ooh, he's skipping over it, actually. Look at this. One, two, three. Coming here. I think we want a gun for some of these. Maybe that one as well. We have... I mean, that, that would cost so little. In fact, I could do that right now. I could just come here. That seems like a good idea. I'm going to come here, and we're going to visit that park, I think. It's going to cost me one tree less so it doesn't cost me a tree at all it cost me water and then i could use a wild but let's use a sun and a tree instead two of any good boom get that and immediately get another wild token so there we go we're up to six wild tokens two and because that guy's in front, this guy's going to move. One, two, skip, nothing. Well, he's in my way if I wanted to go there to get another wild token. But I do have a campfire, so I say, let's do it. Boom. Use my campfire. Rather than taking the two water, I'm... Oh, and this gets replaced. Sorry. Let's not forget that. Yeah, let's get the wild token instead of the water. Three. One, two, three. And there is the water. Discard all your sons? I don't have any sons. I'm smarter than you, Ranger. Definitely need a lot of mountains there. And I definitely want to go there, I think. I don't want to obstruct there. I do think... Okay. This guy's going to jump forward, snag that sun, and exchange it for a wild. Now we're at eight wilds. Ooh, moving one. This guy's moving one. And he's going to come here. Wow. I mean, I should have seen that coming. I wanted to get that mountain. And this guy is blocking that too. So I can't go onto the mountain. I can't go here to exchange anything for a mountain. But if I went here, this guy would move off. And then I could go here to exchange for the mountains that I might need. Okay, I think that's a plan. Now that's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I can hold all of this. So we're going to take that and get two more. And that is my max right there. Move slow. Goes right there. Absolutely fine. Now I can come here. I can exchange these for two mountains. Two. One, two. Oh, there you go. All right. Well, I'm not getting that tent after all, but I think that's great. I think we want this guy to come in. We're going to visit a park. Let's visit that park right there. That costs us just that and that. We're coming into the two spot. Okay, we take my camera. 
but they already took it and they're gonna take away that park. All right, I'm just gonna come here and convert that into a mountain. Oh, wait, not convert it to a mountain. Convert it to a wild. There we go. That's what I meant. And hopefully this guy won't take that one. And he does, of course. Three. He's gonna take that. And now I have to come in. I wouldn't be able to take advantage of that. But let's do it. And that's it. That is the end of the game. I think it's time to tally up some points. Okay, calculating your points in this game is super easy. You just go through all of your park cards. You add up your any pictures that you took. And you're going to look at your goal card uh, for the end of the game. So let's just add everything up and see what we got. So let's see here. That would be 6, 10, 15, 18, 20, 23, 25, 26, 27. And then because of my preserver card, I get one point for each wild. 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Four. Oh, ho, ho, man. One away. One away from the top spot there. We were only one away from getting the best score that you can get. What we got was you're a seasoned hiker now. But we were one point away from you made memories that'll last a lifetime. And I'm sure that there was somewhere I could have gotten that extra point that I didn't see. And hopefully I didn't make any mistakes. This was my first time playing the solo game with the Nightfall expansion. So hopefully I didn't make any mistakes. If you see anything, please comment below. Let us know the mistakes and I'll put up a correction. But thank you so much for watching this full playthrough of Parks. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel for more playthroughs. Thank you so much and goodbye. Ooh, this guy needs to be swimming in the water there. Kitty.